I was born in New Jersey and then, but I lived in Puerto Rico with my grandparents till I was about five, six years old. Just from a very young age, I could say I didn't know then, but I know now, you know, the devil hates me. He's hated me from the beginning. And um, so he's kind of uh, been attacking me since a young age. And what happened at my young age from, you know, being um, sexually violated by two of my family members, starting when I was like maybe five, six years old. And, um, me not knowing what it was, but always being told, you know, hide this, don't say anything about it or I'll kill you, was not them, but the evil spirit in them, using them, you know, to do these bad things to me. And I never really had my uh, biological father around. I'd seen him maybe twice in my life, so he never was a part of my life, you know, and that um, just led to the rebellious and, you know, the um, I don't need any man around in my life type of hardness. Kept partying, kept hanging out, you know, with the older people, wrong friends. And then at 17, I had a real bad car accident where I don't remember the accident much. You know, I, I was like intoxicated. I was drunk. I used to do everything that was on the table. They found me in the car down the street with my head cracked open like five inches, my brain out of my head, and then just drowning in my blood in the back seat, lifeless. So they got me to the hospital. I was in a coma. The first three or four days, one night in the hospital, I like tossed over on the pillow and I fell on a wet pillow. Water or blood, I don't know, but I like, f my face fell on this pillow and I saw this bright diamond like shining light coming from above. And as I was trying to look, it was like blinding me. I couldn't see, but I was trying to look so hard. And then I heard a voice say, it's not your time. You're going to be all right. And those words are what helped me recover. I had to learn how to walk again. I had to learn how to talk again. I had to, you know, become a person again. I thought I would have learned my lesson, but I didn't. I recovered and I still kept, um, I still kept partying and um, living the foolish life that we do when we're young. We think nothing can touch us. At 22, so I got pregnant. It was like God speaking to me again and saying, you know, putting his foot down, that's it. That's it, now I'm giving you a responsibility. Take care of someone else. It changed the person I was. Knowing what it is to love someone else more than you love yourself, knowing what it is to take care, put someone else's needs before your needs, it's a way of God showing, his, showing us how to love how he loves us. At the end of college, it's like I was working and doing everything and yet I still felt that emptiness inside. And me and my best friend from college, uh, started going to church together. Yes, I would go to church, but then I would go home and read the Bible myself. And I would, I was seeking understanding more. God saw that I was seeking him. So he was showing me more and more of who he was and who he said I was to be walking with God. You know, it's a, it's a choice we have to make like in any relationship. It's both ways. It's not just a one way type of relationship. So, um, God was showing me all these things. God was revealing his word to me. Um, he was like making me want to serve everywhere. I was at the church six, seven days a week. If anything was going on, it's like I had the desire burning inside of me. Like, this is what I'm living for. This is what I'm living for. I'm going to do it. Keep talking about God's love. Keep showing his love. Keep talking about the grace he has for us and the forgiveness he's given us for me to keep doing it, you know? the This world is gonna attack us, things are gonna happen, but I know his word says, never let um, loyalty or kindness leave you tied around your neck, you know? Have these fruits of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. So everything God says in his word is what I plant in my heart so that that never leaves me. And no matter what happens, I just, keep on walking in love.